Senator Hanson. I'm quite happy to remove this because this is not what should belong in this parliament. In light of what is happening with national security, there has been 13 foiled national threats against us with terrorism, three that have been successful and Australians have lost their lives. Terrorism is a true threat to our country. Many Australians are very much in fear of it. Order. What I would like to ask on behalf of the Australian people, considering there has been a large majority of Australians wish to see the banning of the burqa. Thank you, Mr. President. Senator Hanson, no, we will not be banning the burqa. Now, Senator Hanson, I am not going to pretend to ignore the stunt that you have tried to pull today by arriving in the chamber dressed in a burqa when we all know that you are not an adherent of the Islamic faith. And I would caution you and counsel you, Senator Hanson, with respect to be very, very careful of the offence you may do to the religious sensibilities of other Australians. We have about half a million Australians in this country of the Islamic faith. And the vast majority of them are law-abiding, good Australians. And if Senator Hanson, it is absolutely consistent with being a good, law-abiding Australian and being a strict, adherent Muslim. Now, Senator Hanson, for the last four years, I have had responsibility preeminently among the ministers, subject to the Prime Minister for national security policy. And I can tell you, Senator Hanson, that it has been the advice of each Director General of Security with whom I have worked and each Commissioner of the Australian Federal Police with whom I have worked that, that it is vital for their intelligence and law enforcement work that they work cooperatively with the Muslim community and to ridicule that community to drive it into a corner, to mock its religious garments, is an appalling thing to do. And I would ask you to reflect on what you have done. Order. 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 Order, Senators. 